everybody just keep your eyes out. Even if you think that you're safe in a small town in your own community, you never know what's going to happen. 30 to 40 investigators are working on the case each day. Molly's family is expected to speak in front of the media today. Investigators on the case are scheduled to give an update on her case Friday. The search for Molly Tibbetts has captivated the nation, and for two local women, finding Molly is personal. I sat down with her cousins who tell me the family will not stop until they bring her home safe. Three hours east of Omaha is Brooklyn, Iowa. I mean, it's your typical small town Iowa. A town of 1,500. Everybody waves to everybody. I mean, I think still most people leave their front doors unlocked. Unfortunately, this rural community is now on the nation's radar because of a missing woman. Molly Tibbetts. Tibbetts' face is all over town. Molly Tibbetts is her name. She's a sophomore at the University of Iowa. Police say Molly Tibbetts was last seen on July 18th while out on a jog. So far, no arrests have been made or suspects have been named. I was in shock. The 20-year-old's disappearance hits close to home. Her cousins, Jennifer Quammen and Jody Cross, live in Council Bluffs. You know, when we were first told, or when I was first told, you're like, it's not real. She's, she's going to come back. She's going to be, you know, and she is still going to come back. The sisters have spent the past two weekends in Brooklyn with their family. I think our main goal is to provide emotional support and, you know, just talk about her. One thing about Molly is brought up time and time again. Her smile, every picture you see, it's just, it's just contagious. The soon-to-be sophomore is described as full of life. She is just the kind, loving person. That's why I think this is also so hard, is who would want to do this to somebody like her? Molly's cousins say they can't dwell on the what-ifs and believe local and federal law enforcement officials are doing everything in their power to find Molly. For now, Molly's cousins will continue to share her picture throughout the metro and ask that you do the same. It just takes one person to see her, to recognize her, to be like, hey, I saw her wherever it might be. This is where she's at, and that will bring her home. Jody and Jennifer tell me they plan to be back in Brooklyn this weekend and every weekend until Molly comes home. There is a tip line set up. Police say so far they've received hundreds of tips. That number is listed on the bottom of your screen.